Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you my exact meal plan, how I went from looking like this to looking like this, and this is a regular carb day for me, and if you're interested, comment below, and I'll also do one with a high carb day. All right guys, we are making breakfast. So I'm not a big breakfast eater. I get up, I do my cardio, have my coffee, which I've done, just in case you didn't know I'm a coach. Um, my favorite thing, so whey protein would be my favorite, but I'm allergic to whey. So I actually worked with my company, Core Nutritionist, and we developed our own vegan protein. So that's your, that's your boy. So this is just how I like to do breakfast. And my daughter is trying to explain. You gotta go potty? That. So I add ice cubes because it actually mixes it for you and it chills it at the same time. So like you're a bartender at Chili's, making a Cadillac margarita. And then I throw in my multivitamin and for today, I had two high carb days. So today is gonna be a, a normal carb day for me. So I'm just gonna do a banana for breakfast. It's like 30 grams of carbs. All right guys, so easy peasy meal two was easy. Why? Because we already had food prepped. We already had the potatoes, we already had the ground beef and I really look forward to that. And if you wanna make it a little bit exciting, salsa is an easy way to add things. It's very low calorie and it makes the food seem just a little better seasoned. So I wanna make sure I enjoy my food as well. But that's it, two easy meals down, staying on the plan. It's very easy guys when everything is kind of set up beforehand. When you have an app, you can literally plan your entire day of eating in the app and then prep the food and set it aside and you don't have to think anymore. I think a lot of the struggle with diet is, you know, the struggle of being hungry and, the, and what you have available. And if you already have your meals prepped and planned ahead, it just makes life so much easier. It makes this simple. It almost makes it silly not to lose body fat. All right guys, so I'm gonna put a screenshot up right here so you can see the macros for that meal, how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat. And when you use macros like this, you don't have to make associations with food being good or bad. They just fit your macro goals for the day or they don't. And frankly, I'm, I'm excited about this meal. All right, guys, so we're getting ready for meal three. And the fun part about flexible dieting is that, hey, we can go to the store. We can buy a bunch of stuff like this. Now I'm going to be cooking like a Mexican fiesta. We got the whole family out here. It's Easter weekend. So I don't want to just eat out of my Tupperware. But I also don't want to go off my plan. So I'm going to show you guys how we do it. We got the grill prepped. We're going to smoke some steak. We're going to smoke some chicken. We're going to smoke some shrimp. The idea here is I'm gonna hit, hit meal three uh, around four o'clock, right? So I had my first meal in the morning, I ate around noon, eat around four, probably eat around seven or eight for my final meal of the day, four meals, get all my macros in, but this is it. We're about to prep some food and work on meal three and feed the family. All right, food prep guys on my smoker. That's some shrimp. Yeah, that's right. I've never actually smoked shrimp before, but my boys love shrimp. So I got a bunch of chicken, some steaks and some shrimp, and we had some friends over for Easter. So I took advantage of the time and made sure I prepped some meats for the week. Guys, that's the hardest part. Get ahead of the curve, have your food prepped. And I'll tell you what, that shrimp worked out amazingly. I just tossed it in some olive oil, with some seasoning, the ribeyes came out great, made myself some tacos and it's time to go. All right guys, so it's about nine o'clock at night. I'm gonna have a little snack uh, with my wife. So I'm dairy free, just doesn't agree with me, but we have this oat, oat milk ice cream called Oatly. So I measured out a serving of this. Um, I think one of the things that's important to do is actually pay attention to uh, what serving sizes are because a lot of people look at the serving size of something and they just assume if you don't weigh it out I promise you you're probably over consuming greatly also for my last meal what we did was uh, we had some friends over for Easter weekend little dinner so I cooked some steak some chicken um, and just made some tacos and all I had to do was just weigh those uh, meats out track the tortillas in the app easy peasy it's it's a little bit of a uh, you know, of a task when you're doing that kind of a thing. But if you have a goal, it's not that big of a deal. And ultimately, during the week, most of my meals are so pre-planned. I like a little bit of freedom. This was kind of a last minute decision. And then tonight, before I go to bed, I'm gonna have one more, uh, probably just gonna do a protein shake and uh, we'll get that as well. So almost a whole day of eating here with 200 protein, 200 carb and 60 fat. That's good. Create okay, custom food. Why don't you put the bowl when you show people, it's like, okay, most people think like, oh, a serving. Serving isn't much as you think it is. All right, guys, so it's the end of the day, and usually I would have like an actual meal. I would make myself like some steak or some chicken, but honestly, I'm just in the mood for like a smoothie. So this is my favorite smoothie in the whole world. I always start with my ve vegan vanilla protein, and I say mine because it's actually mine. 
Um, but it's just, it mixes really well, it tastes really good, and it digests really well. Um, and then I add blueberries, strawberries, a banana, and some almond milk. And depending on how much calories you have, you can get, they have 90 calories, 60 calorie, and I think they even have a 30 calorie version. Ugh. The 60 is good. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but um, I'll add a few ounces of strawberries, a few ounces of blueberries, and I don't know, it just could be me. But this thing tastes like ice cream to me. I also found the secret to this shake is putting them the milk in last. It kind of gets everything mixed together. All right, guys, so that's it. Might be my favorite meal of the day, but if you guys are interested in seeing what I do on like a high carb day, today was about 200 protein, about 200 carb, ended at like 67 fat. For a high day, I'll typically be around 200 protein, four to 500 carb, um, and also 60 to 70 fat. So if you'd like to see a high carb version of this day, that's a little more fun. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good night.